Hey everybody, welcome back to greatchow.wordpress.com. This is Jason. I'd like to say hello, welcome back, and I'd like to give a special hello to everybody at Amazon and YouTube who are looking into the Instant Pot pressure cooker that also doubles as a slow cooker. This right here is the Model IP Duo 60. It's the 7-in-1 pressure cooker, and uh, I gotta tell you, it really is an amazing product. It has revolutionized my kitchen. Um, I've actually fallen in love with this. That's why I have to make a review and put it up for you. If you're on the fence about actually purchasing a pressure cooker, I am pushing you off that fence and I'm telling you, this is the pressure cooker you want. Instant Pot is my first pressure cooker I've owned. Uh, I could tell you that it is super safe. Uh, I was a little apprehensive about actually using a pressure cooker in my house, but uh, there is absolutely nothing wrong with it. It is well built. Um, I have uh, taken a look at the other pressure cookers that are out on the market. I'm not going to name any names, but I've opened them up. And uh, this is absolutely way more well built than the other ones. Um, price you are definitely getting quality. Uh, as far as safety, there are 10 built-in safety mechanisms, um, and we could go over those. And um, interestingly enough, when I first got the pressure cooker, I looked inside the instruction book, and the first thing that they tell you is make steam. This way you could, uh, you know, get to understand how to adjust time, uh, put some water in, two minutes, starts boiling, starts steaming, the uh, counter counts down, two minutes, and then you've got steam. Use the, use the uh, release lever back here to actually release that steam, and that is the first thing that you will prepare in your pressure cooker. It's just a drill. So what we're looking at right here is the front face panel of Instant Pot. It is digital and it has an advanced microprocessor built into it. Uh, this will help with uh, warming cycles and your cooking cycles and uh, your uh, delayed cooking uh, for up to 24 hours. It knows how to deal with uh, a delayed cooking um, setting. So if you wanted to set your food to begin cooking or slow cooking uh, at a certain time in the day like say noontime and then when you get home from work or whatever you have dinner ready so you can just dig in. Uh, the built-in uh, presets you have soup, meat and stew, bean and chili, poultry, if you want to steam vegetables we have a steaming option, porridge, multigrain, it's also a rice cooker as well. Um, you can make yogurt in here. I've never actually done that, but it is possible. Uh, you could adjust your settings, your timing. You could increment or uh, take some time away. Um, you could set a timer. You could put it on manual. Uh, like I said, it is a slow cooker as well. Uh, so you could slow cook and you could adjust your timing. and. Um, and your delay as well and uh, actually my favorite button right here is for sauteing I saute vegetables I um, I actually brown uh, the meat before I actually begin uh, cooking it pressure cooking it um, it's excellent for browning meat so you know if I'm making beef short ribs I will use the saute for browning the meat um, I do that for pulled pork as well. Uh, you want to brown the pork butt and then uh, you just set it for uh, pressure cooking. I put it on the meat and stew and then I adjust my times. I'll go up up to 90 minutes for pulled pork and um, just I'll set it and uh, yeah just walk away and it works. And that's pretty much the uh, front panel. One really cool thing about it is when the time decreases, when your cooking cycle is over and it hits uh, you know, from one minute and then it goes to zero minutes, it will go directly to this keep warm. Uh, so you will see on the display 
low, and you'll see the numbers incrementing as the number of minutes go by that it has been on the low warming setting, which is great. It doesn't cook anything. All right, at this time, we're going to take a quick look at uh, uh, Instant Pot's lid. It gives you an indicator that it's open or closed. Um, and like I said, I have looked at other products, and the uh, this is far well built than the other ones that I had looked at. The, um, the metal that has been installed is a super solid metal. Um, these lips get locked into the slots all the way around Instant Pot. Uh, this has a anti-splash guard that protects the, uh, the venting. Uh, this is right here a uh, anti-blockage vent. And right here is the uh, pressure plunger. I call it the pressure plunger. I don't even know if technically that's correct. But uh, this is the part that actually seals it shut. Don't forget to actually leave this plastic on if you do purchase. And what it looks like on the other side is this. So when enough pressure uh, builds up, you will see steam coming out and this will seal into place. This will be in the uh, seal position. And then after your food is done, uh, you can vent and then after all of the steam is released, this pressure plunger will go down and uh, then you could open up your pressure cooker. Another built-in safety mechanism to Instant Pot is the uh, lid lock. So when you fasten it back onto Instant Pot base, this lid lock gets locked into place. Um, the other part of the lid that you should be aware of is the silicone ring. I've looked at other uh, pressure cookers and I can tell you that this this ring is uh, far superior. It holds in the steam and uh, all of the contents of your of what you're cooking. It's easy to get out. You will wash this uh, and you will put fasten it back in. It's very simple to get back in. You just pop it right back in and you just pop it all the way around fasten it and uh, yeah that's pretty much the lid okay and don't forget when you let the steam out always wear a um, you know hand protection another really cool thing about instant pot is uh, when you take the lid off and also put it on there's an indicating tone letting you know that it's off and also when it's locked into place. If the lid is not 100% on, you will get the word lid spelt out along the LCD, letting you know that it needs to be adjusted. All right, so now let's take a look inside of Instant Pot. So Instant Pot, you have the pot, okay? Uh, this is where you're going to do all of your cooking, this is, uh, you're going to do your sauteing in here, you're going to uh, brown your meat in here, uh, and this is what you're going to wind up cleaning. It's very easy to clean. Um, what's really awesome about this is it's got uh, reinforced metal down here, three ply. Uh, so what happens is when, you, when you're doing your cooking, you want to brown your meat or uh, put vegetables in here. Metal usually has a tendency to cool down. What happens is when you have this thick uh, reinforced steel uh, down here, it keeps the intensity of the heat, which is really what you want. Here's the inside of Instant Pot. Here is the heating element. And uh, yeah, here's the heating element. And I guess over here is a, uh, is a heat conductor as well that keeps Instant Pot really hot. Um, yeah, I pretty much that's about it. Pretty much that's about it. It's a very simple uh, product. It's an excellent product. Uh, it's, it's super easy to put back together and clean. It's, it, uh, it really is 
Excellent. So there you have it, a walkthrough of Instant Pot, showing you the insides and some of the safety mechanisms that are built in. Once again, I just want to let you know that I really do find this uh, an amazing product. It's, uh, it's smart, it's efficient, it's, um, it's super quiet, it's safe, there's nothing to be worried about. I've, um, I've stress tested it, I've made some uh, amazing meals, meals that would take nine hours of slow and low. Um, yeah, the, the time has greatly been reduced. And uh, I haven't made a bad meal yet in it. Um, fall off the bone ribs, uh, pulled pork, beef short ribs, vegetables, and red wine demi-glaze. Um, yeah, I'm absolutely impressed, and I want you to be impressed too. So if you are on the fence, like we were just saying, I want you to get off that fence, and uh, you could make a move, feel good about it, and once you make that move, you can come join me over at greatchow.wordpress.com and there you can find recipes for the pressure cooker and other recipes, video tutorials. Yeah, I definitely want to know how you're making out with it. And um, once again, thanks for joining me and uh, keep it fresh and keep it wonderful in your kitchen. Thank you.